Have you ever seen someone about to do something embarrassing and you didn't stop it? <laughs> Let me tell you a story. So one time I was walking in the church and I was walking down the hallway and I was talking to someone that was walking the opposite way. So I was kind of turning my head and I didn't realize that someone had opened the door to the mop closet. Yeah, you can guess it. I walked right into it, smacked my head right into the door. Like 30 people saw it and they were cracking up. But you know what everyone said? They said, I saw that. I saw that coming. I knew that was going to happen, but nobody stopped it. When things seem like too much effort, laziness gets the best of us. We think it doesn't matter or someone else will handle it. And honestly, if you're like me, laziness sometimes gets the best of me when it comes to my faith. First, it affects our relationship with God because we'll call ourselves Christians, but our actions don't really show it. I mean, we might say it, but I mean, we've all heard it. Actions speak louder than words. And secondly, it, it affects our relationship with others. We don't love people the way we should. We don't show kindness the way that we should, the way that Jesus calls us to do. As followers of Jesus, we have to follow up our words by our actions. We have to let our faith speak through what we do. Let's take a look at James chapter 2, verses 14 through 26. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say, goodbye and have a good day, stay warm and eat well. But then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? You see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. Now, someone may argue, some people have faith, others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds. You say you have faith, for you believe that there is one God. Good for you. Even the demons believe this, and they tremble in terror. How foolish. Can't you see that faith without good deeds is useless? Don't you remember that our ancestor Abraham was shown to be right with God by his actions when he offered his son Isaac at the altar? You see, his faith and his actions worked together. His actions made faith complete, and so it happened just as the scriptures say. Abraham believed God, and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. He was even called the friend of God. So you see, we are shown to be right with God by what we do, not by faith alone. Rahab, the prostitute, is another example. She was shown to be right with God by her actions when she hid those messengers and sent them safely away by a different road. Just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith is dead without good works. Our actions don't save us. Jesus does that. But Jesus commands us to love one another. And our actions, they point the world back to him. Our faith in action allows people to see God through what we do. The way you treat people and the choices that you make show to everyone around you what you believe. Like If you tell people you believe in Jesus or that you're a Christian, but yet you post hateful comments, you're not kind to people, and you're constantly doing the wrong thing, what does that actually say? Romans 12, 9 through 11 says this. Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection. And take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Let's read that last line one more time. Never be lazy, work hard, and serve the Lord enthusiastically. There's a lot at stake when we let laziness take over our faith because our actions have eternal consequences. I mean, our actions can point someone toward or away from Jesus. So if someone looked at uh, your Instagram, your TikTok, your YouTube comments, or how you treat people when no one's around, what would that say about you? Would you be happy with it? If someone saw you sit back while someone else was struggling in your family or a friend, or if someone saw you not speak up to injustice, what would that show the world that you believe? And is that what you want to show the world? 
Maybe for some of you today, this is the first step. Allow your actions to prove what you believe. Stop pretending. Don't claim to be something that you're not. And like it says in Romans, take action and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Our actions, our lack thereof, show the world what we believe. Shows the world Jesus. What do you want the world to see? We'll see you next time.